Oh boy, oh boy. You better believe we're talking about the spice of the week, baby. We're talking about Velma. All right, now, I will tell you guys, all right, I watched the original trailer that announced this show uh, all the way, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, back when they, they, they first dropped it, and people initially talked about it. And I basically agreed. It looks pretty cringy. There are one or two jokes that made me go, hmm, in, in the trailer. But besides that, it, it just didn't look like it was worth watching. What I knew, though, just based on, you know, looking at Velma. Uh, uh, well, yep, this is Velma, guys. Do you like Velma? Velma's pretty cool, huh? Um, just by looking at Velma in this uh, show... I was able to guess why a pretty substantial portion of the internet was like was likely to take issue with it, right? And I kind of assumed that this show would actually be like pretty woke in its messaging. Like I assumed that this show would have a whole lot of like woke messaging, like I don't know, references to progressivism, dunks on conservatives, etc. Like like I thought maybe it would actually be woke. Then I found out who the showrunner is and what her background is. Correct me if I'm wrong, this show is made by a woman named Mindy Calling, Ka Calling, Calling, who is apparently a reactionary and a transphobe. Kaling, Kaling, Mindy Kaling, okay. Oh, she's the voice of Velma too. She apparently made the show. So this show is made by, and the main character is the voice, is voiced by a reactionary, a conservative who is apparently transphobic. She also apparently said you couldn't make the office today because the like the the woke would cancel you or whatever. She also included this joke in the show, which uh, definitely kind of goes against the idea that this show's supposed to be woke. Here, here's an unironic real line from the show. Exactly, I spit truth without a filter. Like every comedian before hashtag me too. Ah oh, man. Women outing powerful sexual abusers in the industry is really keeping comedians from saying how it is, I guess. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, this is very clearly like... There is a term that, that has been ascribed to this show that I don't know if I agree with necessarily. But I want to hear what you guys think, okay? I want to know what you guys think of this show and whether or not this is an accurate... Uh, an accurate, like, um, uh, uh, label. Self-insert? Yeah, it's a self-insert, very clearly. Black propaganda is a form of propaganda intended to create the impression that it was created by those it was supposed to discredit. Black propaganda contrasts with gray propaganda, which does not identify its source, as well as white propaganda, which does not disguise its origins at all. It is typically used to vilify or embarrass the enemy through misrepresentation. A lot of people have been calling this show black propaganda, and that it's made by a reactionary, and there was a very clear and obviously going to cause outrage race swap and multiple race swaps in this show meant to cause outrage among the right online which is very predictable at this point and um the messaging being so mixed it really seems like this show is just sort of like a hodgepodge of either really trying to please everybody or literally just unironically black propaganda let me show you what an actually good adult scooby-doo cartoon would have been like Meat Canyon, like, nine months ago, showed us a glimpse at how good this could be. Oh, hi, Middle Earth. New merch. Meat Canyon dot store. We got new hoodies and new shirts. I don't know how much Please of this I can show. Family. Thank you. But it goes really hard. All right, gang. We got the ghoul who is scaring all those people at the ice cream shop. Let's go find the cops and get... I promise you, this is... This is eye bleach that is cleansing you of the horror of that Velma show, okay? No matter how weird this gets, this is better than that Velma show. Get this crook book so we can move on to our next mystery. Scoob, why don't you stay here in case he tries any funny business? You want to know how I would have gotten away with your crime? I would have killed the ice cream store owner burn the tips of their fingers and cut up their body into 12 tiny pieces scattering them in the ocean and burying them deep in the woods you got too showboaty with all your 
gimmicks. As a fellow artist, I respect the work you've done. But you were weak. You were weak to leave the store owners alive. Scoob! Like, I got us a sandwich, man! Uh, oh, look at him, he loves it! Oh, Scoob loves his sandwiches! Oh, Scooby loves his sandwiches, don't you, buddy? Oh, come here, let me pet you, buddy. Scoob's got a big old belly! Don't you, Scooby? Yes, you do. Look at you. Me and the gang wish Scooby was a girl so we could give him better belly rubs. Oh, it's hard to rub Scooby's soft belly without almost touching his dinghy. <laughs> oh, oops. <sighs> like I got it at the end there a bit, but... <laughs> well, I better be getting back. I'll talk to you later, Scooby. <laughs> That was a close one. I almost got caught talking to you. Now where was I? Oh, that's right. I'd not only kill the store owner, I'd kill the wife, the kids, cousins, aunts, and uncles. Justice isn't pursued if there's no one seeking retribution. So I hopped from town to town, acting like a smooth brain dog who solves innocent cases involving small town business owners like yourself. I'm only gonna live to be eight years old. Hell, maybe nine. I plan on taking as many souls as I can to hell with me. Come on, Scoob! Let's go solve more clues, buddy! <laughs> Looks like that's my call. On to the next town. <clears throat> You know too much. <laughs> so, like, could you imagine if that was the show that we got? How great would that be? How fantastic would that show be? Tell me that wouldn't be better than Velma. Like, Scooby being, like, a horrific eldritch monster trying to take as many souls to hell with them as he can before he dies. Ah, uh, and he's- this whole time he's been murdering the people that they, uh, that they unmask. And that's his way of getting away with it. <laughs> Venture Bros did a parody where the whole gang were based on serial killers. That's pretty cool. I like that. Like why Mr. Pickles is good? I only watched a little bit of Mr. Pickles, but yeah, it kind of does remind me of that, yeah. That old adult swim show. Anyway, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, because, like, Jesus Christ, like, I I don't know what this Velma show is supposed to be. If you think this is supposed to be black propaganda or if it's just, like, really incompetently done, I want to hear your opinion. Please comment down below. I'm curious. Like the video if you really enjoyed it. It helps to push the content in the algorithm. And, of course, if you want to see more from me, do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to turn on all notifications so that YouTube tells you when I go live or I upload a new video. With all that said, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.